Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the ribbon cutting for the Burnt Store Road Widening Project. This is an exciting day. This is a project that uh, when Commissioner Pendergrass and I joined the commission about 10 years ago, we started visioning and, and, and we gave the go ahead to begin constructing. And now it's amazing to see this actually built and actually here and to see people driving on it today. So uh, before we begin today, I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance, just like we do at every other government fun function. So will everyone please turn and face the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Well, I am so excited today to be joined by my fellow commissioners, Commissioner Kevin Ruane, who is our District 1 Commissioner. We, we actually split this road uh, as our border between the two districts. Commissioner Cecil Pendergrass has joined us today from District 2. Uh, Commissioner Ray Sandelli and Commissioner Mike Greenwell send their regrets. They were unable to join us today because of prior commitments. And of course, I'm Brian Hammond. I'm the District 4 Commissioner and currently serve as the Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners. I'd also like to mention our former County Commission colleague, uh, our longtime District 1 Commissioner, John Manning, who uh, was here at the beginning when we first began planning this project and gave the go-ahead for construction. John was a huge proponent of this road, and so we remember him today as well. He passed away last year. The other dignitaries who I want to recognize is our mayor of Cape Coral. We couldn't do this uh, without support and partnership with the city of Cape Coral. So Mayor John Gunter from the city of Cape Coral has joined us today as well. Um, this morning, we're here to recognize the opening of what is our, one of our tier one priority projects, the Burnt Store Road Widening Project. This is a project that widened and added amenities to four and a half miles of Burnt Store Road between Van Buren Parkway in the north and Pine Island Road in the south. It's really an amazing continuation of what was Veterans Memorial Parkway or what is Veterans Memorial Parkway here in Cape Coral. This was a road that we got a lot of feedback from the public that they thought it was dangerous, it was only two lanes, it was dark at night, people were always worried about head-on collisions. And so the commissioners went to work to help design a road that would answer a lot of those problems. Now it's got a divided median, so you're, you're not as worried about the head-on threats anymore from crashes. You have extra lanes, so you have more capacity to handle the growth that's happening in this area. And of course, we've built great sidewalks and bike paths too along this road so that pedestrians can actually use the road as well without fear of being hit by a car. We've even made uh, accommodations for people to be able to cross the road underneath the bridges that we've built here. So it's really an exciting project. Uh, this started back in 2015 and uh, it is a long awaited project and it is almost complete. There are still a few punch list items to knock out, but because it's getting hot and we don't like to do these ribbon cuttings in the hot summer, we wanted to give you an opportunity to come out here a little bit early and enjoy this road today. Uh, the contractor has about one more month to finish up. Uh, this project, as I mentioned, expands the sidewalks and creates a 10 foot multi-use path in addition to the four lanes of traffic, uh, travel traffic that, that, it, uh, that it provides. The other thing is this expansion was actually completed on time and on budget. We're just doing the ribbon cutting early. So really excited when you can deliver a project on time and on budget. And I wanna thank our construction managers who made that possible. So let's hear from my colleagues on the County Commission. We'll start with Commissioner uh, from District 1, Commissioner Kevin Ruane. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Um, it's really great to be part of this uh, ribbon cutting. Burnstone Road continues to have an awful lot of growth here. We continue to work on this. I applaud the prior commissioners as well as my two colleagues to have the vision to actually see the necessary changes that need to be made. Prioritizing uh, tier number one and tier number one projects. We continue to focus on that, trying to move them quicker so we obviously relieve congestion. Burnstow Road, not only in this project, look forward to it, but there's other projects in the future in Tier 2. We'll continue to address the issues here. Happy to be part of the team, and I really congratulate them and the construction managers for keeping this on time on budget. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Commissioner from District 2, Commissioner Cecil Pendergrass. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you all for being out here today. And wow, that was quick. Nine years. Like Commissioner Hammond said, we started this nine years ago. And this shows the county's 
commitment to transportation and safety in the community. And I'd also I'd like to recognize Dave Loveland's here today. And Dave Loveland's been with the county for many, many years. This is his last month with the county, and he's been involved with this road and other projects in the county for so many years. So thank you again, Dave, for all your service. I'd like to thank all the staff that's behind this and all the contractors for all the great work. You see the commitment to Lee County with transportation, what we're doing throughout the county. For example, this is going to be a huge evacuation area for Hurricane, and this is what we need this for, for evacuation of the great population the city of Cape Coral is bringing here to Lee County. So again, Lee County's commitment to transportation and safety is here today. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. And uh, we'll just adjust that like that. Perfect. Um, all right, and, and next I'd like to introduce the mayor of the city of Cape Coral. Apologize for the uh, technical difficulties with the mic. In fact, you could probably pick the mic up, mayor, and hold it just like this if you'd like. But let's introduce the mayor of the city of Cape Coral, John Gunter. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, this is a, a, one of our major transportation projects here, uh, here in the city. I'd like to thank the county, uh, the county commissioners uh, that was uh, before me, the MPO uh, that really brought this uh, project to fruition. Like uh, Commissioner Pendergrass said, this will be a emergency evacu evacuation route for our city. You know, I live in this area. I could have probably walked here today. Um, so I've been driving down the, uh, this project for the last two years. So it's great to finally see the project completed. It's going to be a, a great uh, improvement for the transportation needs of this area that's probably one of the fastest growing parts of our city. So uh, thank you to uh, uh, the county commissioners for putting this as a priority. Uh, like one of the other county commissioners uh, stated, we're not done yet. Our goal is to have this all the way out to Route 75. So I look forward when those projects are completed and uh, thank everyone for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Good deal. Thank you very much, Mayor. All right, yes, and we are all looking forward to the day when this connects all the way to I-75. We're working with our partners in Charlotte County and at the state of Florida to try and get that uh, last, uh, last gap there between Lee and Charlotte County designed and planned and permitted and then ultimately constructed. And uh, Lord willing, it'll be done uh, in the very near future. But let's talk to the person who actually helped supervise the construction project here, our Department of Transportation Director, Randy Searchy. Randy? Good morning. I'd like to thank the Board of Commissioners as they continue to invest in Lee County's future through these large transportation projects. I'd like to thank Lee County Administration for the daily support and guidance through these large projects. I'd like to thank the City of Cape Coral and FDOT for all their assistance during construction, Lee County Sheriffs, Cape Coral Police, and Florida Highway Patrol. I'd especially like to thank the local residents and users of this roadway for their patience during construction. I'd like to thank the designers of the project, Post Buckley, T.Y. Lynn, and Johnson Engineering, and Lee County Engineering staff, especially the project manager, Vince Miller. I'd like to thank the contractors who built the job. The first section through the north was Quality Enterprises, and Wright Construction did a really good job on the last two contracts. And the CEI was High Spans Engineering. All the utility companies that worked with us along the way, Lee County Electric, Comcast, and City Cape Core Utilities. The final day of the contract will be May 31st. <clears throat> by then, we hope to have all the streetlights back up that were damaged by Hurricane Ian in the south section here, and we'll complete the Tropicana intersection. After that, the goal is to extend this four lane to the Charlotte County line, and there's a public meeting on that project tomorrow at the Northwest Library in Cape Coral at 2 o'clock. Thank you. Randy, thank you very much. I've noticed uh, we've been joined by a representative from Congressman Byron Donald's office as well. We thank the congressman for his support of all things Lee County, and uh, we thank the congressman also for his service to us up in Washington, D.C. Okay, now is the moment we have all been waiting for. We're going to get together here, uh, I imagine, right in the middle, Betsy. And, oh, right over here by the ribbon. That's where we're going to get together. So, Mayor and Commissioners, and uh, let's have our construction manager and Randy uh, bring anybody else who you think uh, we've got plenty of scissors. Let's all convene around the ribbon and let's cut this ribbon.